Today, we are out here in the beautiful mountains of Colorado, and we're gonna be doing an initial review of the Roof Nest Falcon. Stay tuned. for the Smittybilt Overlander XL rooftop tent. If not, I'll link it above for you. But we've been using that tent for quite a while. It's a great tent, really large for our entire family. Um, but the cons of it are that it takes quite a while to set up. Like it's like a 10 minute setup and that can be a little bit of a pain in the butt when I'm going out by myself or just me and one of my kids or me and my wife. And so I wanted something that I could set up and tear down real quick. And so I made the plunge and I purchased the Roof Nest Falcon. This tent is pretty incredible. It sets up super quick. There's two latches and then the German made gas struts just push it right up. It's really impressive. Unlike the Smitty Belt, this tent has a really strong, easy to use telescoping ladder. The Smitty Belt one gets stuck all the time. The pins get stuck and it just becomes a real pain in the butt to extend that uh, ladder or uh, put that ladder away. So this one is really nice because it sets up and tears down real easy. Now this tent does have a really firm but comfortable two and a half inch mattress and underneath is a condensation mat. So it's supposed to help prevent water buildup and moisture buildup uh, on the bottom of the tent, in the mattress, under the mattress as you sleep. Now inside the tent, there's some really nice features. At the foot of the tent, there are two storage bags um, that are really sturdy, durable for your phones, keys, wallets, uh, USB power banks, whatever it might be. There's also a net that is attached to the top that you can put things into. Also at the head of the tent uh, is an LED light that's built in. You just have to plug it into a USB power bank. And there's also the condensation air vent. Now there's really just two features on this tent that I do not like at all. Um, one is the latches that close this. I had to buy new ones from Amazon and I'll make sure to link those below for you. The ones that came with this tent, one, they have a lock on it, which makes no sense because it does actually lock the tent. Um, it just prevents you from lifting the latches up, but you can just stick your finger down and, and move the, the latch lock and, and get right in. Um, but they were very difficult to close. Um, some people have not had issues. I was having problems with it. No matter how I adjusted the bolts and the looseness, whatever it was, it just didn't work out for me. So I upgraded the latches. Second is the liner on the windows and doors or the side entrances. They put the mesh liner on the inside and the canvas um, blackout on the outside. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me because you would think when you're sleeping at night, you're going to want to crack open the canvas blackout liner and have the mesh. But in order for you to do that, you got to undo the mesh to get to the blackout liner and then you redo the mesh. If it's raining, you got to open up the mesh in order to close the blackout and then redo the mesh. It's just a, a really silly de design flaw. Don't know why they did that. Um, however, I can look past that because this tent's incredible. So this tent is six and a half inches tall when closed uh, and it weighs about 160 pounds. So it is pretty heavy, but it's all aluminum, which is nice, I guess, even though 160 pounds is 160 pounds. But the aerodynamic of this is pretty remarkable. Now my Jeep sits on 33 inch tires, soon to be 35 inch tires, two and a half inch lift. It's got an awning on it, roof rack. I've got a fridge, drawer system, all kinds of stuff inside. And this tent on here, I get about 16 miles to the gallon. When I had the Smittybilt Overlander XL, I was getting right at 13 gallons or just below like a 12.9, 12.8 miles to the gallon. So switching to this tent, it's an expensive upgrade. There's no doubt about it, but the convenience of setup, teardown, the quality of the build, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of nice with gas prices the way they are to be saving a couple miles to the gallon. All right, well, there is my initial review of the Roof Nest Falcon rooftop tent. If you're interested in learning more about this tent, I've linked it below in the description. Be sure to check it out. And as always, adventure is calling. Are you gonna answer? <laughs>